There's a tradition at the free throw line that's driving me crazy. Shooting two, whether the player hits or misses, the shooter steps off the free throw line to receive a touch, you know, from his or her teammate. You know, tell me, yeah, you know, uh, give me five, yeah, okay, yeah, I missed. Now, look, first of all, I believe the intentions here are good. I love to see teammates supporting each other, picking each other up when they're on the floor, you know, at dead balls, timeouts, even before they go to the free throw line, you know, pat on the back, hey, boy. But I can't understand why you would give your teammate a touch when he or she misses the first free throw. Okay, maybe encouragement. I can understand that, but I can't understand the free throw shooter stepping off the free throw line. If you miss the first one, then you should know exactly how to correct that shot. The mental image should be fresh in your mind. Just give me the ball quickly and I can hit the second one. You know, I know where it's at. But instead, they step off the line and lose where they were anchored. The mental image is gone. That's why I don't even want my teammates to touch me. I, I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't want to break my concentration. What if you hit the first one? Well, I sure don't want to step off that spot and take myself out of that groove just to slap your hand. Then I have to line up all over again and go through my first shot ritual again. What? You mean you don't have a first and second shot ritual at the free throw line? I have my own personal recordings going on in my mind for both free throws. It's a rhythm thing. For me to step off the line or give a touch or receive a touch or talk to someone breaks my rhythm. I would tell my teammates that I appreciate the sentiment, but leave me alone on the free throw line. Do you want points on the board or do you want to touch me? Point to me after I make the shot or give me five at the next dead ball. But at the free throw line, let me get in my ritual, stay in my ritual, and I'll average 88% instead of the 69% for all college players since 1969.